This month marks exactly 25 years since the United States has been at war in Iraq. To be exact, uh, just this past Saturday, January 17th, that was the day that George H.W. Bush announced the launching of Operation Desert Storm. Now, that was back in 1991, and the faces of our enemies may have changed since the 90s, but the facts are the facts. People are still dying. A lot of money is still being spent. So the question is, where do things stand today? Well, sadly, a quarter century later, and the region isn't any more stable than it was. It's actually far worse. As a matter of fact, I'll make the argument right now that our prolonged involvement in the region has caused more violence, more suffering, to spread beyond Iraq. Now, I understand that these are very complex issues we're talking about. I mean, there are a lot of things that go into this. 9-11, uh, the Arab Spring, among many other things. Uh, some the U.S. is directly responsible for, others not so much. And I get that. But as Americans and as taxpayers, as human beings with souls and hearts, we have some serious responsibilities in response to the bloodshed in Iraq. I mean, we need to start acknowledging the real human costs of war, uh, including the death tolls in Iraq, the trillions of our tax dollars wasted, and the damages to U.S. troops deployed to the region. Six trillion dollars. Six trillion hard-earned taxpayer dollars have been spent so far in Iraq. Six trillion. I mean, picture that. It's believed hundreds of thousands of innocent Iraqis have been killed, although it's impossible to get any official figures on these kinds of things. Who knows, the number could be in the millions. American lives taken, 4,486. To make all of this worse, there's absolutely no end in sight. And now, with the elections just around the corner, foreign policy is a hotter issue than ever. Despite all these shocking numbers I just told you, many Americans, including almost every Republican presidential candidate, truly believe this country's on the wrong path because Obama isn't taking the guns blazing bellicose George W. around. And that war is actually what we need, more of it. Are you serious? I mean, get this, Ted Cruz clearly has the right idea. America will lead. We'll rebuild our military. We'll kill the terrorists. And every Islamic militant will know, if you wage jihad against us, you're signing your death warrant. You what? You who? You're gonna kill who? Hmm, sounds a lot like George Bush after 9-11. Hey Ted, hey Trump, that didn't work out all that great. And to be honest, that aggressive policy, like the, the ones that you guys are saying, that's the reason America elected President Obama in the first place. Just ask Mitt Romney, he knows. So guys, don't be fooled. And look, whether or not Cruz and Trump and Fiorina truly believe what they're saying, or they're just exploiting those who don't know better for their votes is a different story. And I'm not gonna go there. But one thing is for sure. America really doesn't learn its lesson. And we've seen that, Democrats and Republicans alike. Look, I know this war isn't being fought on our doorsteps. We don't pass by leveled buildings every day walking to school. We don't lose grandmas, cousins, brothers, mothers, wives, husbands in airstrikes every single day. It's all just so far away, it seems. But imagine if we treated it like it was on our doorstep. It was our hospitals, it was our schools, it was our streets that were being bombed. Just imagine that. 25 years, that's an entire generation. And it's taken us absolutely nowhere. Well, I take that back. It's actually taken us backwards, actually. And all for what? For some new jihadist bastards like ISIS to spring up and make sure that we remain fighting, losing, and injuring our own soldiers, pumping more money, more and more money away from the American people and abroad into a fight that will never be won with brute force. And keep in mind, ISIS is just the flavor of the month. Before them, it was Osama, the Taliban, Al-Qaeda. Look, there will always be idiots, even after all these guys on this planet. So now's the time to get real. I don't know about you, but I see a pattern here, and to me, guys, this pattern clearly is not working, and I think it's time that we started to think of a different way to go about our strategies in Iraq.